Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May. I'm May. Welcome old and new. I appreciate each of you stopping by today. I am excited about today's video, as I always am. Anytime I can get to put up some content for you guys, it always makes my heart smile. But today I am participating in a spe special <laughs> challenge and it's all things snowman i have some great items for you I actually have six diys i'm so excited about that because it's been a while since i've been able to put up more than three or four but um we are going to be using items from dollar tree as well as some of our other favorite crafting stores if you haven't already done so lovies please consider subscribing liking sharing and commenting and know, guys, that those comments are always desired, never required, because I love you guys, and I love to chat with you guys after each video. So, today is the Snowman Showdown, hosted by my sweet friend Robin over at Crafts Unleashed by Robin and Craftastic DIYs by Janice. We have to use, um, you know, make... Or create things surrounding snowmen. I thought that was super cute. The snowman showdown. I have not really done a whole lot of snowmen on my channel. So I was super excited about this playlist. Um, and to see what I could come up with. So as you see here. Um, I did use one of these planks from Dollar Tree. I am using all my color paints today are coming from. Folk art, um, they are by Platt as well. You guys know I love me some Waverly paints, but they are both um, housed by Platt products. So I will be using the colors Candy Apple, Green, Wicker White, Licorice, and Orange. And they're all the Folk Art brands. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going in and I'm doing me some decoupage because you guys know... Y'all know, if you've been here any time, you know. <laughs> I got these napkins. One says Merry Christmas. The plaid one says Merry Christmas. And then, of course, you can see the snowman on the other. I got both napkins from CJ Maxx. I absolutely love them. And I just did my basic technique as far as decoupage is concerned. Used a little Mod Podge. Adhered the napkin. And then I just press it in with a sponge. I prefer that technique over others. There are so many different ways to decoupage. But that works the best for me. So that's what I tend to gravitate to. Here I'm just taking away the excess. I'm sanding a little bit. And I'm also burning away some of it. Just to show you guys the two different um, end results, they're pretty much similar. The only difference is if you do the burn technique, you do have that possibility ability of scarring your piece. Um, but if you like the rustic look, it ties very well into that. So it is a prefer personal preference at the end of the day. And um, that's it. So next... I'm going in with some of these gold leaf or gold flakes, whatever you want to call them. I was going to use some gold paint here, but I was like, I think I'm going to try this. Um, I, I've had it in my stash for years, and um, I don't use it, you know, often in my crafts. But I thought, you know, it's Christmas time. I think it would play very well with these colors, especially since the Merry Christmas on the plaid napkin is in gold. And it looks really good. The only thing is, guys, that it started looking like nutcrackers to me at the end so <laughs> I was like all right May what's gonna happen here so I just kept going with it I do like it it came out very cute to me uh however like I said it just I don't know it just seemed a little unfinished I guess so um I did off camera I added in some different um embellishments and you guys will see that at the final reveal it was nothing um you know special it was just some pine um, picks that I added to it um, just to make it look more like snowman opposed to nutcracker. So you guys will have to let me know once we get to the final reveal what you guys think. All right, guys. So meet the snowders. I found these chunky snowmen at Michael's. I believe they were $3.99. They may have been $4.99. Nonetheless, they were 50% um, off when I purchased them. And then I got like um, extra 
percentages off and then some rewards, all that good stuff. So they came down really, really inexpensive. And I wanted to make a snowman family. So I decided to create the snowders. I painted them in those same colors that I mentioned earlier. And I got this fabric from Hobby Lobby for Mrs. Snowder. I have these pre tie bows in my stash. Pretty much everything I'm adding to them today is stuff I had in my stash. And I think they came out super adorable, guys. Here I'm going in and I'm just adding in um, some facial features for them. I did want to make the eyes a little bigger. Things like that. But because the space, the face space, <laughs> sounds like a social media page. Ah. <laughs> the face space. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Like, MySpace meets Facebook. Hello. Like, yeah. No. <laughs> anyway. All right. So, um, the face was just so, the face space was just so small. Like, I didn't want to, um, I don't know, mess it up. So, I just went with tinier features or smaller features. Um, and they're not the greatest, guys. I am not Denarches. Um, the eyes... It worked out okay. I was having a little bit of issue with them, but the mouths, you guys will see, are a little off. They look a little... <laughs> They're not rounded right. So I I tried to keep going, but it was like, okay, it's getting really wide here, May. You need to stop because the mouth is going to be the whole face in a minute. But I just went with it. I did some touch-ups where needed. So now for her, um, Mrs. Snowder, I felt like she still needed some else on her little dress so I added in one of these peppermint embellishments that I picked up from Michaels and I think that just really sells the deal for her little outfit now moving on to Mr. Snowder we're going to use some of this Dollar Tree ribbon in the um, gingham print and I'm just tying it off to the side to make it scarf I do have a pre tight bow for this that matched this perfectly as well I did get the pre tight bows off of Amazon I've had them for some time um, and I'm just not a bow maker like if you can make bows especially teeny tiny ones like this go for it do you I applaud you because I'm not that person so also I wanted to add some embellishment to his hat what I'm also going to do next is take some more of that ribbon cut it in half and add that to the hat because I felt like the hat just seems a little unfinished to me and you guys can let me know, should I have left this strip off or not? But I really love it. I like the overall look of him altogether. Now, I do go back in later on. You guys will see where I do add in his buttons on his belly because I totally forgot that part. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so here's where I'm just like, okay, I like this. This is working for me. And I did paint them in the back, and I thought to myself that they look like penguins. But I wanted a black background versus a white one, um, just in case they get scuffed. I know either or, because it's chalk paint, it will show up. But I just felt like white, if it was any other colors, you know, um, that they lean up against, like it would just be more uh, prominent. It would just stand out even more. So here's where I forgot that I had not put their nose on <laughs> so focus on the eyes <laughs> and when I did the facial features for the kids oh my gosh guys they look like little Chucky little scary Chucky's or something <laughs> so I have to redo those I didn't put you guys through it but I did some touch-ups on those off camera and here I'm just giving the um Mr. and Mrs. Snowder, their noses are a little bit longer. The kids, I'm just putting in little dots, and um, that's it. I think this is where I start doing the face, and I'm just like, whoa, girl. Whoa, you look a little evil. <laughs> but, um, like I said, I come back, and I do it off camera, and they absolutely come out adorable and so now for little boy snowder i'm just gonna add one of my pre-made bows that match his hat it's like a deep red and green absolutely cute and that's really all i do for him i do put some um rhinestone embellishment on his hat just one little piece and you guys will see that as well 
and I thought he was so cute. I just wanted to keep him so simple and adorable. And little girl Snowder, I had this cute polka dot ribbon. I thought it was very cute for Christmas. And I'm just going to fold it like the accordion style. Just do a coat. I don't know if that's the true name of how you fold it, but that's what it comes to mind is the accordion <laughs> or fan, whatever you want to call it. I'm just hot gluing together as you see there and I'm just making sure it gets nice and tight and that I'm just gonna put on the front of her um I don't want it to wrap around like I did with um Mrs. Snowder because it's so tiny and they have flat backs now I did get these little snowmen from woodpeckerscrafts.com they actually sent me a goodie box i was so excited and amongst the items in there were these super cute flat back snowmen so now i'm taking some of my little funfetti peppermints like they're miniature peppermints and i'm just adding them to um little girl snowder's hat because i feel like they kind of look like little teeny tiny peppermint flowers and i just really thought they were super super cute and I just put them um, diagonally, diagonally, oh my lord, y'all know what I'm trying to say, across her hat. And um, I think it's so sweet and so cute. And then after that, this is where I go in. I add her little dress to the front. And I'm going to, um, this. yeah, I go back and touch up her face here. And then I'm going to just, um, you'll see in a minute where I add in the bow but her face came out way cuter this time around and i was so excited about that see isn't she sweet she's a precious so then next like i said i'm taking the bow i have a pre-made red polka dot bow i'm going to take that and i'm going to glue that like wrap that around i wanted her bow to really stick to her and i think they came out absolutely cutie patooties just cutie patooties that's what they are so now this is where i'm going in adding in those little embellishments um rhinestone embellishments because i forgot you know on his belly so on and so forth but i still felt like they needed just a little something extra so i was like why not it doesn't hurt it only adds it only elevates the project and i really Really, truly love the way these came out, guys. Like, I was so happy. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this. I did add one of the larger tower tumbly blocks to Mr. Snowder to create a height difference between him and Mrs. Snowder. I just wanted him slightly taller just to give it a little dimension when you're looking at it. So it's just not like even across the board, you know, just one look. Um, and I think they made such a handsome couple, guys. You have to let me know what you think about them. All right, we're moving on to our third project, which is our fun, fun project of today. <sighs> Ooh, y'all hear my crowd cheering? That's my own, you know, background effects. Yes, I know, I know. Live and in person, May, every day. <laughs> <laughs> all right so what we're doing is a night light pillow guys don't worry it's not flammable we are using some fairy lights that i got off of dollar tree and it's actually inspired by this um by a pillow that i saw at the 99 cent store in uh, 99 cent and more store and i thought okay i'm not going to pay them more i like this but also this came about because my uh, four-year-old nephew, he is struggling, transitioning to his own bed, and mom is tired. My sister's tired. <laughs> She's worn out by the morning. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh, but I do remember the days. Luckily for me, my son, when he became of a certain age, he was like, bye, I'm out. <laughs> Had no issues with him transitioning. So it was, you know, I, I don't understand that struggle, but I can only imagine uh, what it's like. So I was like, let's try and create him a nightlight pillow. She was like, okay, let's just bring it on. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> let's see if it works. But um, all you do is basically, as you saw, I was very strategic. It's where I wanted to lay the lights because I wanted to highlight the features of the pillow. And I just left a little bit of an opening to leave that battery pack out. I covered that with some embellishments. And there you have it, guys. Now, this is absolutely something they would not sleep on. Use it, you know, uh, with precaution. Again, it's not flammable, but 
let's be responsible and just, you know, let's just help get them comfortable. Once they fall asleep, go ahead and cut it off and move it to the side. All right, next step is our super simple project of today. <laughs> The next two, this one and the next one is super, super simple. Um, it's a belt I picked up from Target Dollar Spot. I'm just using the black and red paint by Folk Art. And I tied off the topper because, or the holder, string, whatever you want to call it. Because I love the way they had it tied. And I knew if I removed it or loosened it, I would not get it back. Now I'm taking some of these cute snowman faces that I ordered off of Amazon. Absolutely love them because, again, guys, I'm not an artist. I know I post things out because I'm trying them, but I'm not an artist. And I struggle. I struggle. Struggle bad, guys, when it comes to drawing faces and things like that. But I'm not giving up. I just didn't want to do it for this project. And I, um, I just wanted this to be super simple, something easy. And it was very affordable. Um, and I will be using, you get two sheets of them, and I'm never going to make this many snowmen <laughs> during one, you know, holiday season. So I know I'll use them for years to come, and it would be a great investment. So I was okay with it, but I don't even think I paid over $10 for them. So I'm going in, I chose the face that I felt would fit nicely in between the little white space. Now I do have to say, initially I thought this was looking a little bit nautical. But I, once I stepped back and looked at it, I was like, okay, it works. It totally looks Christmassy. Very, very cute snowman indeed. And that's it, guys, for the face. Now we are going to go in and add some embellishments. And super easy, guys. It's just a little berry pick that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And I think I only paid 99 cents for it. Or a dollar. I, 99 cents. Yeah, I think they were 99 cents. If I'm not mistaken. And then this bow came in a pack of pre-made bows from um, Hobby Lobby. I do cut off the tails. Just so it does not take away from the face of our snowman. Our bell. Snowman bell. And the bell does actually ring. I just did not remove that piece off of there because it was like two o'clock in the morning and I didn't want to disturb the neighborhood by this ringing bell so that's it for this and how adorable was that oh, my bow was a little willy wonky like I said it was two o'clock in the morning guys now we're taking these trio frames that I got from a trio of frames that I got from Michael's they were already in here together I got them back in 2020 and as you can see I painted them in the colors we mentioned earlier I did use a piece of napkin from um, that Merry Christmas napkin. I'm super excited about that because that just lets you know that like one napkin can take you through several projects in literally less than a dollar. So I am doing my rub-on transfers here. The rub-on transfers that I picked up from Amazon and I'm doing three different style of snowman here. Now I will say that I was a little disappointed in myself because I felt like once I started putting these on I should have did them just basically in red and white because I am using uh, white felt and red felt for the background and like I said a napkin for the middle one I did not glue anything down here but when um, I was thinking about this I was like oh the snowman is not going to show up that great with the white background but man was I wrong look at that it looked so pretty I can't wait for you guys to see the close up, up close up of it but um, these rub-on stickers, as you can see, and this is sped up, but those stickers, when they put, when you put them on glass, really when you put them on any surface, once they go down, you have a doozy of a time trying to get them up. But I am literally, that's all I'm doing for this piece is adding in rub-on transfers. Now, I absolutely should have just left just what was in the frame. And then once I added this Merry Christmas, this is where I still sh should have stopped. But I did not. I kept going. So I decided to put more rub-ons around the framing and I felt like it made it too busy. But the thing is, is like I said, once you put these down, like they are so hard to come up and maybe if I sand it down, I can just go back and do what I originally wanted to do. Um, I just didn't want to waste my rub-on st um, stickers, but that's it in a nutshell, guys. So next up. This is our final project of today, guys. Thank you for riding with me this long. If you're still here, I appreciate each and every one of you. Guys, don't forget to check out Robin's and Jenna's 
link in my description box below as well as the awesome playlist for the other content cr creators participating today so here we are doing a melted snowman we are doing frosty you know his last day hanging out with the kids i thought how sweet and precious would this be to um just make a sign that says I'll be back someday. I wanted to make more, wanted to put more lettering, but that meant the project would have to have been a lot larger and I did not want it that big. So I just went in with a piece of this um, pre-cut um, wood slat or piece that I ordered in a pack off of Amazon. I want to say I ordered that like three years ago um, and I'm still using it. I have probably about 10 pieces left of it. It came in a pack of like 25 or 30 I think um and I love those letters I did pick those up off of Amazon as well I like using them in projects such as this because they're so whimsical and fun and um like I said all I put is I'll be back someday here you see I'm using a paper plate I did show you guys the unfinished and finished version of the paper plate because I was going to leave it in its original color state but it was too shiny so I did use some of that white paint to cover it and I adhered it to the base. The base I did get from Michaels. It was $4.99 with all my discounts and percentages off. So it, you know, I did not pay five bucks for it. The wood block came from Dollar Tree in the Crafter Square section. And what you see I'm doing here is just putting a lot of hot glue. I'm going to cover the, the plate, um, part of the base, and I'm going to cover this entire block in hot glue. Now I used about six hot glue sticks um and as i was going through this as i may you know you should have used your cheaper ones instead of your gorilla glue one. <laughs> glue ones i don't know what i was thinking but again it was two o'clock in the morning guys i was tired i wasn't thinking my brain was fried oh i had a long week y'all but nonetheless we're moving on so i am using a lot of my posh here and it's okay it's dripping down it's all over the place but that's okay i'm just using some of this faux snow Oh my goodness, this stuff got everywhere, guys. Oh my goodness. But I covered the whole bottom, including the square, because in the song, you know, they talk about playing around the square and, you know, and all that stuff. So it was all the play on the song, guys. All the play on the song. <laughs> Next, I have this top hat that I, it came from a pick that I picked up from Michael's. And I knew I was going to use it for something similar. And I was really happy when this project came, um, when I thought about this project. Because it played perfect. Now, what I'm doing here is taking a pick that I had in my stash to cover up the front. Because, for whatever reason, they decided to put a gnome on the front of the top hat. I couldn't figure that out for the life of me. But I didn't like it, so I covered it up. And you cannot tell the difference. So, next, I'm taking some of these mittens. Again, I used some more of that same napkin, guys. This is why I love decoupage. Like, you can use it in so many different ways and projects in really, really, really really i mean really get a bang for your buck <laughs> okay um less than a buck so once i get them um glued on and i was a little nervous guys about this plate not holding up but i think once i added that uh paint to it it prevented it from melting from getting soft and it stood up very nicely to the hot glue i didn't even lower the temperature okay and next you just see i'm taking some of this leftover my posh on my sponge Dipping it in the little faux snow and adding it in various places. Here is our final reveal, guys. Thank you, thank you again if you're still here riding with me. I appreciate it so, so much. You guys have to let me know how you feel about the sign. Now, when I was recording this final reveal, for whatever reason, I paused a lot. I don't know. I was <laughs> so tired. God, I was so tired. But here it is. And then here is our night light pillow i really love this and even if you don't put it next to a bed like you can put it next to the bed it's just something to give them to think about to get excited about going to bed it's literally what it's all about but i absolutely love the way it came out again you know it's just a fun idea and if you don't want to do it but here is the cute little pillow you can leave the lights without it and be totally okay with that and here are the snorters hey y'all <laughs> Aren't they adorable? I absolutely love them. So let me know, guys, if you have a favorite today um, or how you feel about it. Like I said, I haven't done a whole lot of snowmen on my channel, um, but I do love looking at them. I think they're super cute. And 
let me know what you guys think here is where i changed up the snowman um, and added in the little pine sprigs with some beads um just to kind of give them that more snowman look opposed to the nutcracker and here is all our melted frosty oh isn't it adorable i absolutely love this i do believe this and the nightlight pillow is my favorite of today let me know if you guys had a favorite as well um you know talk to me and if you haven't already done so consider subscribing lovies also remember again guys check out robin and janice's link in my description box below along with that awesome playlist i promise you won't be disappointed i know they have created some amazing items for you guys don't forget to forget to subscribe like share and comment just know please know that the comments are always welcome here because i absolutely love to chat it up with you guys after each video so have a safe and happy holiday hugs and kisses XOXO. Until the next video, loveys. Bye.